Welcome to this video where I'll show you an interesting trick for advanced Excel users, specifically how to protect a sheet in an Excel document. So imagine we have an Excel document like this with a sheet containing data that you'd like to safeguard from potential edits or changes. For example, let's say we have this sheet and I want to allow editing only for one column, let's say the price column while making all other columns and cells protected, preventing anyone from altering or updating them. This process is quite simple, but interesting in a certain aspect. You need to do it in reverse order. Now I'll show and explain what I mean by that. To protect or lock the editing of all cells, except the ones you want to allow, you first need to highlight the range of cells in this sheet that you want others to be able to edit. So I will select the cells where I have a data. Once that's done, the next step is to go to the Home tab and click on the button that opens the Advanced menu. It could be here or here or here. It doesn't matter. They all open the same dialog box with settings. Some may default to another tab, perhaps this one, this one or this one. What we need is the tab called protection. Note that I haven't clicked anything in these settings yet. Here in the settings you'll see an option already activated for me, where it says locked. So if you read the description below, it says that if you want to lock the highlighted cells plus the entire sheet, you need to go to the Review tab in the Protect group and choose the option to protect sheet. However, we are taking a slightly specific approach here, when we want to lock everything except the highlighted cells. So we uncheck this checkbox here meaning we remove it from here and then click OK. In other words, we are telling Excel that when, we, when the sheet is locked, everything except the highlighted cells or cells should be locked. The highlighted cells should remain unlocked. The next step is to apply the protection level, so to speak, to this sheet so that it is entirely protected except for the selected range. We need to go to the Review tab and in the Protect section. This is where it is located. Here, click on the option Protect Sheet. After we click here, a dialog box appears where we can specify additional protection parameters and even set a password to prevent anyone from unlocking this, this sheet. However, for this example, we do not need to change anything, just click OK. The main point now is that we are protecting the sheet and the content of this specific sheet is visually protected with the exception of this highlighted range. As you can see, nothing has changed visually. However, if I try to change the value in one of the locked cells, you'll notice something interesting. For example, on the type, in the Home tab, even before I start my own editing, you can already see that many options on the toolbar are grayed out. I click on them to make anything happen, but nothing happens. If I, play, if I place the cursor here and try to type something on the, uh, on the keyboard, look at what happens. Excel protests, so to speak, and says that the cell you want to change is located on a protected sheet. We have corresponding instructions on how to add or change data here. Further, we can try right-clicking on one of the protected cells, for example here, 
or even above here. You can also notice that many options here are inactive. However, if I now right click on one of the cell from the range for which we previously removed the protect cell option, I can comfortably edit data. Let's say I click here and again change something. 5. Excel allows me to change this data without any issues. If I click again, for example, here and try to make a change, it will not allow me to do so. Yes, the same mistake. Now the reverse process to remove protection from the sheet involves going back to the review tab here and clicking on the unprotect sheet. Now I can go back to the home tab and you will notice that all the options and parameters on the toolbar are active again. I can change any values, for example, two, as you can see. Next time, if you decide to protect the sheet, but this time you want all cells to be protected, you need to go back and reselect the protect cell option. That is, highlight these special cells again, go into advanced settings by clicking here, here, go to protection and recheck the option called locked. OK. Press OK. Alternatively, you can do the same by simply selecting all cells in the sheet by pressing Ctrl A. And then go to the properties to ensure that in the protection tab the checkbox is checked. This will automatically apply the settings to all highlighted cells. Now all cells in this sheet will be protected if someone decides to protect this sheet. Let me do this. Review protect sheet. OK. All cells are protected, including those cells we were able to edit previously when all others were protected and locked. That's it for this video. If you liked it, subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, share the video and invite your friends to join the channel so that it develops faster. Until next time. Bye bye.